On the 16th of February, there is one of the many outstanding Russian pair skaters. This is Elena Bereznaya, who suffered a very serious head injury in an accident with her partner Oleg Shlyakov in Riga, Latvia, just uh, about a month ago, but making a, a good and quick recovery. She, of course, is part of the Russian contribution to the history of pair skating, and in truth, no country has given more to the rich tradition and legacy of pairs than has Russia. Peter Carruthers has more. The sudden and tragic death of Sergei Grinkov left all of Russia and the world in shock. Death at an early age is hard to comprehend, but an athlete dying young is even harder. His widow, Katya Gordieva, was left with only memories. She could remember Calgary in 1988. And an historic gold medal return in 1994. The most beloved of all Russian pairs were at the crest of a legacy in Russian figure skating. The old Soviet anthem had been played 10 times in world competition for Irina Rodnina and three times at the Olympics, each time more emotional than the next. The earlier Protopopov dynasty had been only the beginning for Soviet pair success. The Soviet dominance in pairs competition was unequaled. With the demise of communism, dramatic changes swept the nation and the sport of figure skating. In 1992, when Mishka Tunik and Dmitriev were awarded their pair's Olympic gold medal, the Olympic anthem had replaced the Soviet anthem. In world and Olympic dance competitions, the Russians were every bit as dominant as the pairs. So when reasons are given for Russian dominance, it has to be the ballet. With the rise of the Kirov Ensemble during the early 1900s, Russian coaches and skaters grasp the inherent strengths of ballet training, especially in pairs figure skating. Former Soviet pairs and now Russian pairs have always been intense to get their gold medals, Olympic or World or Europeans, it didn't matter at all. But they always wanted to be the best because it's all and always been like that. If you're Russian or Soviet, you have to be the best. You must be the best because you're the best. First of all, we have uh, qualified coaches. Then we have uh, a tradition of people uh, being in a collective uh, so, uh, society. So the people are together, uh, two people together or a group, they uh, deal with other each year uh, the easier than maybe in the West, I don't know. And then the financial condition f to put people together uh, are easier here uh, than in the West because uh, financially uh, families are more or less equal. I don't know why, for sure, but I think it's just tradition because we don't have a lot of uh, uh, different schools for pair skating. We, we have just, just one very good uh, school here in St. Petersburg. But I think it's tradition and uh, a lot of uh, good coaches who long, long time uh, live on top level in pair skating and they know what, what we need. The reasons are many, but the heart of Russian pair skating lies in the subtlety of ballet, the tradition of the past, and the coaching for the future. Pairs is an art form in Russia, and nothing will ever change that fact.